Barbecue, the Backyard Barbecue, and this is your boy, Mr. B, from Backyard Barbecue. Technically, it ain't backyard right now. Don't worry, coming soon, right? I'll be back. But anyway, um, today, this is what we cook. Meatloaf. Yeah. Um, never cooked a meatloaf in my life, and I figured why not try it on the grill, and then uh, see what happens, man. Um, call back home, try to get the information on what I need to put in there, but you know, I'm gonna put my own stuff in there and then go from there. So uh, as you can see, I got my packs of ground beef. I got five of them. Um, I was gonna buy an aluminum pan, the aluminum ones that you throw away, but they cost so doggone much, it was cheaper just to buy the actual tray. Um, I know it's not a meatloaf pan, but it's my meatloaf pan. Uh, yeah, see that got cake on there and all that? Hey, this thing say five year warranty. All right, Mr. Wilton, we about to test you out five years. They didn't say how you use it. Ain't no instructions really. Well, whatever. We finna test this thing out. But anyway, um, let me show y'all the products real, real quick. McCormick, typical. Uh, meatloaf, I guess meatloaf seasoning, the spices, whatever the case is. I got some uh, five packs of ground beef. These are about a pound, a piece, a little bit more than a pound. Got some eggs, uh, tomato sauce, mix that with my ketchup, uh, canola oil just to put it in the bottom, keep it from uh, you know getting sticky. I'm using wheat germ. I know it says breadcrumbs, but I'm trying to eat a little healthy, um, so I'm using uh, wheat germ, which is pretty much breadcrumbs, but just in a different form, a better, better tasting. Uh, say it's good in vitamin E and whatever. We'll see. But anyway. Um, Y'all stay with me, stay tuned. I got I just lit my grill about 45 minutes from now. I'm gonna go back and test it. And then uh, we're gonna go from there, y'all. So stay tuned, man. Meatloaf on the grill. Hey, welcome back to the Backyard Barbecue Show, y'all. I got all my ingredients mixed up. Actually, let me give you a little close-up. Mmm. I don't know if this is how it's supposed to look. Fellas, ladies, especially ladies, the ones that know how to cook. They comment below. Let me know your thoughts, man. Tell me what I did wrong if I did anything yet. Uh, I'm just going off how I think it's supposed to be cooked. Like I said, I looked online, changed some ingredients and stuff. Uh, we're going to see what happens. Usually, like, they put ketchup on it, but I'm going to do that maybe at, um, toward the end so that the ketchup uh, uh, does what it does, whatever that's supposed to be. We're going to see what happens, y'all. Uh, stick with me. Like I said, we're going to go upstairs. The grill is about ready. Gonna put it up top, uh, on the top rack, close it up, about 230, 250-ish, and let it run until it's done, until I think it's done. Anyway, let's go up top, y'all. All right, back y'all, barbecue is barbecue eggs. This your boy, Mr. B, we back. Um, as you can see, I got my lid open on my Kamado. I got my uh, handy dandy meat, meatloaf right here. Look at it, it'll settle in, let it cool off a little bit. Take it out of the refrigerator about 15 minutes prior to. About to put it on this grill. Look at it, it fit perfectly. And we're gonna just close the lid, let it cook. We're gonna come back at the maybe hour mark and see what it looked like. And then come back and let y'all see the final product and see you on your way, y'all. We'll be back. Hey, what's up, everybody? We back, man. Parting the noise. We got three AC units because there's three different levels. Um, and it's hot as a heck out here, so you know everybody running their AC. But uh, my temperature is about 260 right now. Let me show you this real quick so I can let you go. Uh, for a second, uh, this is at the hour mark. Let me see if I can get a close up of the temp. Uh, let's see if we can get a close up. Here we go. All right, let's open this thing up real quick. Like I said, we're at the hour mark, y'all. Ooh, look at that meat there. Y'all see that smoke coming? Yeah. Oh, let me close my lid. I want to dip in this thing right now. But I know it ain't ready yet. Anyway, we put this back over here. Um, so yeah, just the hour mark. I'm probably let it cook for another hour. We're gonna use our temp gauge. It needs to be over 160 when I'm done. Um, after that, we're gonna put a little foil on it, let it rest, and then uh, it's gonna be ready to serve, y'all. Need loaf on the grill. We'll be back, y'all. Hey, what's going on, y'all? We back, man. It's been about two hours, two hours, ten minutes to be exact. Um, we're gonna go ahead and check this right here. Go ahead and put our tomato paste and uh, ketchup. I got to catch it right there. Tomato paste is back here. 
I'm gonna put that on there. I need to drain the grease off of it. And then put the, uh, got my little cup, got my rag, I'm gonna pour it in there. And then put it back on for about 10 to 15 minutes, let it sit, then it's good to go, y'all. I'm gonna show y'all what it look like real quick. Uh, let's see here. Let me give y'all a little close up. As we cap up these, uh, uh, this, woo. My dog on top. All right. See that little grease in there? We're gonna pull that off. And then, actually, you know what? I'm gonna leave that on there. I'm gonna leave the grease on there because I don't want it to dry out. And then we're gonna go on about our business, y'all. I'll see y'all in a few. Actually, I'll see y'all when I go downstairs. You know, better yet. I'm gonna go ahead and put the, the tomato paste and uh, ketchup on there, mix that up real quick. Put it on top, make sure it sits in, do 15 minutes and we're gonna show y'all what it look like. Then we're gonna go in and talk about it. Send you on your way, y'all. Uh, by the way, my Florida Gators are playing Vanderbilt, getting beat right now, so you know I'm really upset. I'm hoping for LSU to win. I'll never say that. I'm hoping for LSU to win because I need Georgia to lose and then Florida play Georgia and we'll see the outcome. But the way they playing now, it don't even matter. But anyway, we gonna sit here. We gonna root for them. Wait for this ketchup to render into the uh, and tomato paste to render into this. We are gonna eat meatloaf, y'all. We will be back. All right, y'all. I tell y'all, be back in about 15 minutes. Let's see what this meatloaf looks like. All right, this thing bubbling. About to take it in the house, y'all. We'll be back in a minute. Y'all, this is boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. Uh, actually, let me give you a close up real quick. Not too shabby. I don't know. We're gonna cut it though. You can see the bottom being burnt a little bit from the uh the juices from the meat. We're gonna cut this thing open and see y'all. See if it's even all right, let me get y'all close up. Smoke ring. Yeah, let's try this again, y'all. Give y'all a little. Look at that. Then right through it. Yeah, y'all, right through it. All right, let me put this on a plate real quick. Let me do a taste test. I'll be right back. Actually, yeah, I'll be right back. All right, y'all. Y'all wanna see a smoke ring on a meatloaf? <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. About to taste this right in front of y'all. I know this thing is steaming, but I'm still gonna do. Let's see what this thing tastes like. I ain't never cooked me low before, y'all. Sure to respond in, uh, within 24 to 48 hours. 
Uh, once again, this your boy Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue out here in this desert. Cook it up in cocktail, just create stuff. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share my videos. And holla at your boy, y'all. Smoke meatloaf on the grill. Boop. Hey, my gator's coming back, y'all.